if you want to have a better understanding about laryngocele first you should know about a, about laryngo sac, laryngeal sacu so i'll start with the structure of the larynx so that you can understand better then i'll proceed with the types clinical presentation then what are the findings investigation and then and the surgical part this is a larynx external part of larynx and this is a inlet of larynx here you can see the vocal cords the movement of the vocal cord produces sound see the for the normal function of the vocal cord the vocal cord is always kept moist so these are the vocal cords and the structure above above that on either side is a these are the false vocal cords see this picture these are the vocal cords the structure above are the false vocal cords so in between the true vocal cord and the false vocal cord if you can see the green extension i have drawn it extends upwards on both sides these are the saccules as you see in this picture saccule so this saccule has got numerous glands and the secretion of the glands comes down tracks down and covers the true vocal cord and keeps it moist what happens in laryngocele is that the mouth opening of the saccule is blocked for some reason or the other and each time the patient strains as in case of glass blowers or trumpet blowers or whistlers what happens is the air builds up here and there can be a swelling which can be noticed inside or outside if it is inside it's called as internal laryngocele if it is outside it's called external laryngocele if it is combined then it is called combined laryngocele okay, i hope now we can follow what i mean by laryngocele now it can be congenital and acquired also the causes for acquired i have already mentioned now coming to clinical presentation those patients with external laryngocele they say that they have a noticeable swelling which is slowly increasing in size whenever whenever they strain as in case of glass blowers and trumpet blowers and as soon as they stop the pressure in the neck or when they stop blowing the if there's a glass blower if if they stop blowing the the neck swelling disappears in case of internal laryngocele the same thing happens but instead of a neck swelling they have change of voice and if neglected it can proceed to breathing difficulty for a diagnosis in a case of external laryngocele when i ask the patient to close the nose and mouth and blow out which called as a valsalva manner or ask him to cough there can be a significant swelling in this in the neck in case of if I, if i want to diagnose a internal laryngocele i'll go ahead and do a flexible laryngoscopy and position the laryngoscope in the laryngeal inlet and ask him to do the valsalva manner or cough where we can see a significant smooth bulge in the laryngeal inlet in between the false vocal cord and the true vocal cord this is a normal picture where there, there are no a bulge at all and here you can see the bulge and as soon as he stops the strain the bulge disappears i'll go ahead and ask for a ct scan for a diagnosis and to rule out malignancy also which can be or may be the cause for the blockage now coming to treatment this is a surgical condition i was internal laryngocele i'll go ahead with endoscopic approach and if it is external laryngocele i'll go ahead with an open approach so that's how we treat a case of laryngocele thank you so much